Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson about foreign terms of payment with a special emphasis on payment collection method. In our previous lesson, we have seen about one of the foreign terms of payments. Particularly, we have discussed about letter of credit. Let me remind you some of the main points of our previous lesson. Letter of credit is the most used payment term in international trade. A letter of credit is a document in which a bank or other financial institution assumes liability for payment of the purchase price to the seller on behalf of the buyer. Letter of credit may be confirmed or unconfirmed and revocable or irrevocable. Let's begin today's lesson by defining the other foreign terms of payment called payment on collection basis. Payment on collection basis is one of the most widely used in the purchase and sale of goods and services in foreign markets. This is a method of payment by which the sale transaction is settled through an exchange of documents thus enabling simultaneous payment and transfer of title. Under this arrangement, the seller forwards shipping documents, invoices, insurance certificates, and other relevant documents through a bank to the buyer's bank overseas. To facilitate the transaction, two banks are usually involved one in the exporter's country and one in the buyer's country. This graphics depicts the flow of transaction in a documentary collection steel. Exporter or drawer and importer or drawee agree on a sales contract, including payment to be made under a documentary collection. The exporter ships the merchandise to the foreign buyer and receives in exchange the shipping documents. Immediately thereafter, the exporter presents the shipping documents with detailed instructions for obtaining payment to his bank or remitting bank. The remitting bank sends the documents along with the exporter's instructions to a designated bank in the importing country or collecting bank. Depending on the terms of the sales contract, the collecting bank would release the documents to the importer only upon receipt of payment or acceptance of draft from the buyer. The importer will then present the shipping documents to the carrier in exchange for the goods. Having received payment, the collecting bank forwards proceeds to the remitting bank for the exporter's account. Once payment is received, the remitting bank credits the exporter's account less its charge. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Assume that the term of payment agreed by importer and exporter is payment on collection basis. Explain what is meant by payment on collection basis. Is the importer obliged to pay for goods prior to the shipment?
Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare your responses. Payment on collection basis is a method of payment used in international trade whereby the exporter entrusts the handling of commercial and often financial documents to banks and gives the banks instructions concerning the release of these documents to the importer. In this arrangement, the importer is not obliged to pay for goods prior to shipment. The seller includes with the documents a draft drawn on the buyer for collection. To initiate a trade collection, the exporter will draw a draft also called bill of exchange, on the buyer who will honor the draft when it is presented to him. A draft or bill of exchange is a negotiable instrument prepared by the drawer, drawn on a drawee who is responsible for honoring the draft. To be negotiable, the draft must be drawn by the beneficiaries on parties specified in the credit, be signed by the drawer, contain an unconditional order to pay a certain sum in money, be payable on demand or at a definite time, be payable to the drawer properly endorsed, not exceeding the credit amount or remaining balance of the credit. One of the methods of payment on collection basis is the bill of exchange. The payment of drafts or bill of exchange on a collection basis can be subdivided into three categories. Site draft, time draft, and clean draft. One of the categories of the payment of drafts on a collection basis is site draft. In a transaction on documents against payment, the exporter releases the shipping documents to the importer only on payment for the goods. In this arrangement, the exporter retains title to goods on board and may decide to refuse their discharge if payments are not received. This arrangement, which demands the buyer's immediate payment of the exporter, depends on a scythe draft drawn on the buyer. The drawer and the drawee negotiate terms and conditions of the transaction. The drawer ships the goods. The drawer draws a draft and presents it to the remitting bank along with other documents. The remitting bank examines the documents and the draft and forwards them to the collecting bank. The collecting bank notifies the drawee of receipt of the documents. The collecting bank holds the documents until the payment is made by the drawee. The drawee examines the documents and makes the payment for the supplied goods. The collecting bank releases the documents to the drawee. The other category of the payment of drafts on a collection basis is time draft. An exporter may decide to release shipping documents to a buyer on acceptance of the exporter's drafts. In this case, the importer is under an obligation to pay at a future date. This method satisfies both parties since the importer is able to receive the goods before payment and the exporter 
has a firm assurance that payment will come at a future date. Students, can you explain the risk associated with time draft for the exporter? A time draft exposes the exporter to more risk than a site draft because the buyer is in possession of the merchandise without paying from the date of acceptance. So to minimize this risk, the seller must be certain that the buyer is capable of paying on the maturity date and that the political and economic conditions of the country are stable enough to ensure that payment will be made without significant delay. Now, I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. What is the difference between a site draft and a time draft? Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now do the exercise together. Site draft is documents against payment. It means that the instructions by an exporter to a bank that the documents attached to the draft for a collection are deliverable only after his or her payment of the draft. Time draft is documents against acceptance. It means that the instructions by an exporter to a bank that the documents attached to the draft for a collection are deliverable after his or her acceptance of the goods. Now let us discuss the last type of payment method of bill of exchange that is clean draft collection. Under clean draft collections method of payment, the seller presents only draft drawn on the buyer through the collecting banks. This is a documentary draft presented to buyer for payment of acceptance without being accompanied by shipping documents. The shipping and other documents are usually sent directly to the buyer. This method lacks the protection of controlling title afforded by the documentary collection. Students, let's discuss the advantage of payment on collection method for importers. 
advantages to importer. In most cases, it is less expensive than letters of credit, less processing requirements than letters of credit. With time collections, buyer may receive goods and resale before maturity date of draft. This payment method has disadvantage too for the importer. The major disadvantages are the following. Goods shipped may not conform to goods as specified by buyer. Seller or banks control shipping documents. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about some important foreign terms of payment with emphasis on payment on collection. Basically, we have discussed the following payment terms with their detailed procedures. Payments on collections offer a middle-of-the-road approach to satisfying both the exporter and importer. The payment of drafts or bill of exchange on a collection basis can be subdivided into three categories. Site draft, time draft, and clean draft. In the arrangement, the importer is not obliged to pay for goods prior to shipment and the exporter retains title to the goods until the importer either pays for the value of the draft upon presentation of site draft or accepts the pay at a later date and time or term draft. In our next lesson, we will discuss foreign terms of payments, consignment sales. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Mm -hmm.